Hey, what's up guys? I just wanted to make a quick video here uh, discussing a few updates, why I haven't been around, why I haven't really posted any videos. Uh, well, the biggest thing is, is that I'm graduating. Yep, graduating college. I'll be graduating with an associate's degree in, in web design, which is pretty cool. Um, as you guys probably checked my last update video, uh, which was back like March 23rd or whatever it was, um, that actually said that where I was like worried about this one class, but I wasn't going to pass it, and uh, I passed it, so uh, I had to get a tutor like that following week and bust my ass to pass that class. It was ridiculous. But I finally got it all down, and I uh, just completed my graduation commencement practice, and I have the actual graduation tomorrow. Um, it took me four years to get a two-year degree, but I'll tell you the reason why. Uh, the biggest reason was because I changed my major not once, not twice, but three times. And if you want to be technical, I actually changed my major four times. Um, back when I was a senior in high school, uh, they had this selective program where if you were wanting to be an automotive guy, uh, they had canceled our auto program, the teacher got fired or something. So there was only a select number of kids who actually got to be in automotive. Um, and there was only like 10 kids selected. And other than that, you had to be in like some hick ag class or something. And I was like, fuck that. So I'm not going to do that. And uh, I was selected as one of the 10 students. And uh, I thought that was kind of cool. And I got to get out of school earlier than everybody else too. I didn't have to stay for assemblies, I didn't have to do shit, which was awesome. Um, the whole thing with that, though, was just the way things were going. At the time, a lot of people thought hybrids were going to be a big thing uh, in the automotive industry, and they didn't teach anything about hybrids there. You got to look at a hybrid, and it was fucked. It looked fucked to work on. And I didn't like having to go back every few years just to learn the new shit like the new computerized shit that they had in the cars. I just thought that was a waste of time and money. And, you know, I really didn't want to do that. So I changed my major to being a tattoo artist. And I don't know, I, I just thought tattoos were cool back then. And I really wanted to be something like that. And I, I really wanted to do like 2D animation, like cartoons and drawings. They didn't have any of that shit here. Uh, I live in like a hick town of like 20,000. So, uh, you know, to some of you guys, that's probably not even a sixteenth of the people in your town or city. But, uh, yeah, so that's what I was doing uh, back in 2008. Then in 2009, I decided I wanted to do computer stuff because the tattoo thing didn't work out. Uh, biggest thing was they were all on realism drawing. And I really wasn't that good at it. I was more for the cartoony style stuff. I wanted to do something like the next Beavis and Butthead or South Park. You know, I wanted to do funny cartoon animations, but they never had shit for that here. So, you know, I just kind of said, fuck that. And I, I kind of stopped that. And then everyone was telling me, <clears throat> excuse me, everyone was telling me to get into computers. And they're like, oh, you're so good at computers. Why don't you just do something with computers? And I had everybody telling me this. And I really didn't think I was that good. I mean, I really... I really didn't think I was good, but people gave me this thing. They're like, oh yeah, you're really, really good, you know? And so I go in there thinking I'm really, really good, right? And the next year I was going to be a network administrator. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's basically just like a computer technician. Uh, you work on, you know, regular computers, servers. Uh, do, you do a lot of networking with like routers and, and just networking in general, you know, running network lines and stuff. It's I, I give props to whoever completes those fucking degrees with the Microsoft certifications and stuff. That stuff's pretty intense. Um, I tried it the first year and it just wasn't for me. Like, it was way too fucking advanced for me. And the, the biggest issue on why I stopped was because they said, oh, well, in like three years, you're going to have to redo this again unless you complete all this shit within like one year. And I'd only just started the degree. So there was no way I was going to, you know, it's going to be the auto shit again. I'm like, oh, great. It's the automotive shit again, where you have to reapply for your certifications every three years. And that's fucked, because those tests are hard enough as it is, let alone having to do them every three years. That's fucked. 
So I said, you know, fuck that. And I was actually doing really good in what I was doing very well in web design. I had done web design. I did HTML in like 2006. And then I started to learn CSS, which I'd never learned before uh, in 2010 when I started web design in the spring. And I started to do kind of well in it. And I think I ended up with like a high B or something. And so I decided, oh, yeah, I'll just be web design. You know, it's piss easy. Uh, people think I make decent sites. I don't think I make super amazing sites. I'm not very good with Photoshop. I can do Photoshop, like you've seen some of my pictures, if you've been on my Facebook or something, you know, little things I've edited at the end, you know, that stuff's pretty simple, but it, that doesn't take that much skill in my opinion. But anyway, there, there's shit like that. I don't have that much graphical knowledge, but I can make solid working websites, you know, with the code and stuff. But I'm, I'm really good with like HTML based stuff like HTML, PHP, you know, stuff that works with that. But stuff like real programming stuff, like C++, which I never have had, I've never done, which is why I was having trouble in my Java class. So yeah, that that was always a big, big mess. So I still don't think I'm that great at programming, but I thought PHP is pretty easy. But anyway, I got all those classes out of the way and basically flash forward till now, from 2010 to, to now, this is where I'm at. So uh, I'm very thankful to graduate and, or be graduating. I haven't actually graduated yet, but um, glad to be doing that. Uh, hope to bring you guys some more content of whatever, you know, whatever's gonna be coming out. I don't know. Probably a lot of Street Fighter stuff. Uh, I'm kind of running out of stuff to do on playthroughs. Like, I don't wanna do long shit either. And I really don't know what the summer's gonna entail. I have no more school, so a lot of this hopefully will be easier to do, but I can't promise anything, okay? Um, I plan to finish a lot more of the games, and then I don't know what I'll do, you know? I've been trying to do this review stuff just to keep YouTube fresh, to keep you guys fresh with something else, you know? I just kind of want to expand my audience a little more than just playthroughs and just certain games, you know? Um, I'm looking to do more of the Street Fighter stuff. Uh, if you guys know Total Mortal Kombat or Total MK, if you're on YouTube, I'm basically doing the same thing he does, just Street Fighter style. So, because I don't know anyone that really does it like that. And if there is somebody that does it like that, uh, I would like to know because uh, I'd be very interested in watching their videos. So, but yeah, that's really all I had to say for that. Um, I don't know if I'll do a Things I Bought Today episode. I, it's just this fucking month, you know, all the times that I've been getting all this new stuff, which I'm sure I mentioned this in the update video, where I said I was a, a teacher assistant or a lab assistant or whatever you want to call it. And uh, I was getting paid from the college to do that, which was really fucking cool. It's a great opportunity. I got to teach a bunch of people. Uh, I'd never done that before. Sometimes it was really slow. So we got to sit on Facebook sometimes. It was just me, you know. The other kids didn't get to sit on Facebook. I'm sure they did, but, you know, sometimes the teacher would tell them a way to do something, and I was a student once too, you know. So uh, this was an intro to web class, so it was pissy to me. And I was just telling them, you know, all these simple ways of doing shit. She'd tell them some complicated way. I'm like, just do it that way. Or they're like, oh, my code doesn't validate. And I'm just like, yeah, just uh, just turn it in, you know. Or if it didn't validate, I'd try and help them out. But sometimes there'd be some little error, and I'm like, if it works, just turn it in. She's not going to care. She's just going to care that it validates, and that's it. So overall, that wasn't too bad. I met some pretty cool people. Uh, it's kind of funny seeing some of these people there. And they're like, oh, I know you. You're that kid that plays whatever games in the computer lab, which a lot of times there's a computer lab for the IT students to use. And uh, I was usually in there playing games. Like I was playing Ninja Gaiden one day. Uh, I beat Ninja Gaiden who knows how many times in that classroom. And people would be like, oh my God, that's the kid that plays Ninja Gaiden. And then he, they'd come over there and watch me or something. Uh, a lot of times I was watching the I Wanna Be The Guy fan games. I was watching a lot of videos on that. And there were a lot of people who would crowd around me being like, what game is that? And I'm like, oh, this is something somebody made. Oh, that's so cool. And then I think one day I was playing Bashi in there. And they're like, oh my God, have you ever beat that game? And I was like, no. And they're like, oh, that seems so hard. And I was playing it on easy mode, but I still thought it was funny to see them 
to hear them say those kinds of things. But other than that, I don't know what else to say other than the new laptop's been working out great. Uh, that's what I'm recording on. I figured out how to record um, all my playthroughs. You know, all the stuff you've been seeing recently has been coming from this laptop. I got everything squared away with that. Uh, there's only a few videos where I had like the square type videos, like the full frame instead of the widescreen. Uh, that was just because I was having issues recording with this. And then I found out, oh, hey, Toshiba preloaded a bunch of bloatware on my computer, the shit that I don't need. But I keep it on there, you know. It's, it's not a big deal to go through Task Manager and just take all that shit out and then start recording, you know. Um, I, th this computer is expandable to 8 gigs of RAM. I might upgrade it uh, this summer, but I don't know. I'm looking into building a computer. I'm not promising anything on building a computer because I really don't have any money anymore. Uh, the money I made from my job wasn't very much. Um, it wasn't enough to build a computer, I can tell you that much. Um, it was enough to get me little trinkets like that Mortal Kombat stick and Street Fighter Cross Tekken, and that was about it. And then uh, the headset that I have that I'm not wearing right now. But, uh, how long have I been going? 11 minutes? Wow, seems like it's been a lot longer than that. But, uh, that's really all I can say for that stuff. As for future videos, uh, Street Fighter stuff, uh, streaming, I don't think I mentioned that. Streaming, as you guys know, when I was on spring break, I was streaming. Um, I'm gonna continue to do that. I found out how to upload the videos to YouTube, thanks to Alex, he helped me out there. So, thankfully I got help for that. Um, I was going to make a 1,000 subscribers video, but then when YouTube did that filtering, it took down like 30 subscribers, so I was down to 980, so I had to wait till it built back up again. And then finally when it built back up to that, I was so fucking busy, I, I, could, I didn't have time to build one of those videos. And not to mention all the videos I had saved uh, for the uh, compilation tribute thing at the beginning for all the people who had ever mentioned me in their videos was going to be in that. And uh, I was going to have that cycling through. They're all on my old laptop. So I have to go through on YouTube and search them all again, uh, which wouldn't be too bad to do, but at the moment I just don't feel like doing it. The other playthroughs that I started and stopped, Ninja Gaiden on NES, will finish probably sometime this summer. Uh, who knows, I may stream the rest of that stuff, I don't know. Um, v, 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 v. that will be finishing, because those, those, some of these games only take me like an hour to do, so I plan on finishing all these this summer. Resident Evil 2, that shit is all recorded on my old laptop, so I just have to get the footage and stuff uh, off of there. Resident Evil 1, the computer that right over there, I'm pointing to it, um, is out of commission because a Trojan hit it. You know, that fucking computer I built? Yeah, a Trojan hit it. After I had Norton on it, Norton 360, and I know some of you are going to be like, Norton, why'd you use that piece of shit? You should have used this. What? But yeah, that was, that fucking pissed me off. Um, it was a Trojan that was only attacking XP and Vista users, so that's why my old laptop didn't get hit by it. That really pissed me off. So it's, it's like really fucking slow now. Like, I can do stuff, but not to the caliber of what I used to. Um, I can still record and emulate and all that if I wanted to, but it's so far out of commission. I wanted to get a new hard drive for it anyway. Um, I plan on getting uh, some sort of SATA drive. I don't know what kind. Uh, I'll probably just get a Caviar Blue drive. I'm not going to go too crazy with it. But the hard drives, another thing was, was the hard drives, whenever they had that flood, um, they were pretty expensive. I haven't actually checked them now, so I don't really know. Um, the, the laptop's been running great. I've had zero problems with it. It records and streams and does everything I want to. Pretty much perfectly fine. Um, as for streaming games, I'm going to be doing 
Street Fighter 2 Black Belt Edition, which is a ROM hack. Uh, that's a really fun ROM hack. I really like that game. Because uh, everything's fucking broken, basically. So, like, if I want to shore you can, I can shore you can, and I can do, like, a, a low one, and I'll go, like, through the floor and hit him. Uh, oh, it's fucking awesome. If you guys have not seen it, it's funny. Thing is, though, is the computer characters are also broken, too, so it's, it's funny, but you can continuously spam hurricane kicks and be like, Tatsumaki Sopukya! Or whatever, you know? So, <laughs> I just find that funny. Uh, so I'll probably be doing something like that. Um, oh, I gotta mention that I'm moving. I am moving a thousand miles away this summer as well, which is another thing on why I said I'll be very busy this month. Uh, as you guys know, I usually go to Texas every year. I used to go every spring break. That was a tradition until this year uh, when I had some financial difficulties. I couldn't go. I couldn't afford to go this year. And my parents, my mom and stepdad, I should say, usually paid for me to get it. To, to go down there, but they just couldn't this year, and I couldn't this year, so it's very unfortunate I couldn't go to Texas this year, but I thought, what the hell, I'm going to be moving down there here this summer, so I wasn't really pissed, I was just like, you know, I was just kind of bummed out, because everyone else was going somewhere, doing something fun, and it, it was just kind of fucked, you know, and with, with my schooling being the way it was, you know, I wanted to get away from this fucking place, because this, this town sucks ass. Uh, oh, I'm gonna go get some real quick. I apologize for stopping the video so early, but look at what I got. See this? This is a Street Fighter Cross Tekken tournament promo. I mentioned that in my uh, Mortal Kombat uh, uh, tournament stick video. Yeah, this is an official fucking GameStop promo that they gave me when I went in there one day. It's like, hey, do you guys have that Street Fighter Cross Tagging tournament? And they're like, no. And I'm like, can I have that? Can I have that store display thing? And they're like, yeah, I guess. And they just gave it to me. Uh, they didn't even have this stuff. They have those pads, though. Not that one. But they got the Bob and Julia pad. And I think it's got Cami on it, too. But yeah, they just gave this to me. So I figured I'd show that. I said I was going to show it in that Mortal Kombat tournament stick unboxing. So I figured I'd show you guys that. But yeah, that's one of the cool things that I got. Uh, the stick's pretty cool too. Um, I tried that stick on Street Fighter and it's kind of slow. I think it's more made for like MK1 and 2. It's got a run button on it for MK3, but... Or Ultimate MK3, but it's... I don't know. I'm, I've never been good at Ultimate MK3, as you guys can probably see in my Ultimate MK3 playthrough. I don't know all the combos. I could give two shits less about that kind of stuff, because that's not the kind of fighting games I play. I play stuff like Street Fighter, you know, the new Mortal Kombat game, classic MK1 and 2, and that's pretty much it. Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. Those are, and Capcom vs. SK2. Those are really uh, the only five or six fighting games I play. I don't really play anything else. Blaze Blue's a great series. Uh, I also got that as well. I'll go ahead and show you this real quick. Apologize for keep walking away. This is probably the last time I'm dressed up like ballet. She's going to turn back past the window gun in his face. I thought someone's coming through the door there. But yeah, I haven't got Blaze Blue before. I never played it for this year. I always wanted to get it, but I never got around to actually getting it. But yeah, I got Blaze Blue, Humidity Trigger, which is for Calamity Trigger. I don't know. I keep thinking it's like Chlamydia Trigger or something. But yeah. I got that. Let me show it to you real quick. I had that one. I got Continuum Shift. Continuum Shift. And Continuum Shift Extend, which I just bought yesterday. And it's awesome. Blaze Blue is a great series of games. So, got them all through here. Go ahead and show you. Chlamydia Trigger. I, I'm just going to call it Chlamydia Trigger. It's like Chlamydia. Okay. You can see that. There you go. 
yeah, found that at GameStop. So I was pretty happy to get those because I hadn't had them before. Um, they're great games. They're just a little too fast paced for me. Uh, toning the difficulties down is it's good, and I can play them, but I just can't boost the difficulty up. Like on normal, I just get completely raped. Like, so I always have to tone it down, because I'm like, I can't keep up, you know. The, the gameplay is very, very good, and very, very fast. So if you're one of those kind of people who like those kinds of games, um, it's a great series. It really is. Uh, the Calamity, or Continuum Shift Extend, I think it is just Continuum Shift 2, basically, for the people. Uh, for people that have PS3 and 360, you can get Clementity or er, Continuum Shift 2 on PSP and 3DS, but for them it's Continuum Shift 1. You put it in and it's a patch, apparently. I don't know how that works, that's just how I read it on the computer. But Continuum Shift Extend, I think, is basically Continuum Shift 2. So that's just what I consider it. I consider it Continuum Shift 1, Continuum Shift 1. I continuum shift extend, continuum shift to those of you who care. <sighs> but I think that's it. I think I've explained everything I could say. I've got so much stuff. I don't even think I could make a thing that I bought today episode. It'd be so long. Uh, I bought the laptop. I bought the Blaze Blue games. The tournament stick. Anything you've really seen an unboxing for, I bought. You know, and whenever I made the last one, like in January, you know, that was the last time I bought stuff. But I don't have my job anymore, you know, it's just a temporary school thing, so it's kind of unfortunate, but, you know, just roll with it. But other than that, that's pretty well it, I think. I don't think there's anything else I can say. So if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, you can go ahead and leave a comment below, PM me. Uh, Hit me up on Skype or Steam. I actually got a free game from uh, Zero Meg Man X. Uh, he gave me Portal 2 the other day. Appreciate it, you know? I don't know. I'll, I'll probably stream it, I don't know. Uh, he also gave me VVVVV, so now I promised I would finish it. And I've just been so fucking busy, I can't finish it. So I'll finish it one of these days. It, it's, it's, it's a fun game. And I haven't tried Portal 2 yet. Um, I can't wait to try it though. I want to beat the first one first. And I got the first one for free when they had like a Steam free weekend or whatever for Portal. So uh, I was excited to get that. And I got that. It was really cool. Um, but other than that, I don't think there's anything else I can say other than uh, the AdSense stuff which that's been going okay. Uh, there's been some YouTube bugs recently, if you guys didn't know. Uh, there's been one reason why I haven't been uploading anything since Ultimate MK3, aside from the stream stuff from I Wanna Be The Fan Game, and that was all streamed, uh, by the way. So, um, if you guys are interested in any of that, which I don't know if you are or not, but um, I did do an I Wanna Be The Fan Game playthrough like, way back at the beginning of last year. And I stopped, and it, it, it's not the best, because I've never really seen any fan game playthroughs, really, aside from, like, one, okay? So, like, I know how to conduct my commentary in that now. I still don't think I have the best commentary. Uh, I'm very thankful for all you guys who come and watch my videos, who have stuck with me, who have even watched the videos with me in them and given me lots of support over those. I'm quite surprised people do that. I figured a lot of people hate videos with me in them, but apparently that's not the case, which I'm blown away by, and I really do appreciate it. Um, as for some Street Fighter stuff, I'm going to be doing some Street Fighter 2 reviews. I've pre-recorded all the footage for Street Fighter 2 The World Warrior on Super Nintendo, so I plan on reviewing that here pretty soon, maybe before I go to Texas. I don't know. I'm looking to do a retrospective on Street Fighter 2. Um, I promise my whole channel won't be devoted to Street Fighter. It's just going to have a lot of extra stuff to do with that, because I want to get a big fan base, you know. I've got, you know, my fan base for Def Jam, fan base who came in from Tekken, Mortal Kombat, and now I want one to come in for Street Fighter, to, you know, big fighting guy, you know. Um, another thing, I guess, that I thought I'd mention for this summer is uh, I will have a lot of free time 
but I won't have a lot of free time. I am going to be looking for jobs this summer, so I can't promise everything that's going to be coming out. But I can give you an idea of what's going to happen. And I'm not saying this for sure, but I personally think I need to shed a couple of pounds. I mean, after being at college for four years, uh, eating McDonald's almost every, well, every day that I had to go to college, which was every, usually every other day or so, um, I would go eat McDonald's because it was the closest fucking place I could eat, you know, unless I had to run into town and then it was fucking hectic because everyone was out on lunch. We only had like an hour and, you know, a bunch of idiot drivers around. So a lot of times I just stopped at McDonald's because it was just like right down the road from the college and then, you know, you had to go clear into town to get anything else to eat. So it was just easier to go there. Um, I weigh currently 185 pounds. Some of you may consider that pretty big. I don't know how fucking fat I am, but yeah, I'm not the slimmest dude like I used to be. So I am going to try and make a weight loss log this summer. Uh, I'm gonna try and cut down on a lot of fast food eating, a lot of soda or energy drinks or whatever I decide to drink. I'm gonna try and cut a lot of that down. So that that's also a side a side series video uh, that I'm probably going to make to track myself, keep myself on pace. You guys may or may not be interested in it. It's for my own personal health. It's just something I've decided to do. I'm not trying to shed like a bunch of pounds. I just want to go back to like 170, or, you know, just a, a thin but big, you know, big size weight that I can turn a lot of into muscle. Because I consider myself a pretty big guy already, like in terms of just muscle. But I know that a lot of stuff down here and up here in my face is there's a lot of fat that just just grown and obtained, and you know, I think I need to. I, I know I need to lose some weight. You know, I know personally that I just need to. I know I've gained weight, but to be expected when you go to college. Um, and you have to eat cheap and quick and all that, you know, and not being exercising because there's no fucking PE classes, that's just health tack on. I don't think adding 15 pounds over four years is really that bad, um, and I'm going to shut it off this summer, so hopefully you guys will be on the journey with me for that, and if you haven't, you probably didn't even stick a lot around long enough to finish this update video, which I don't blame you because I don't know how long I've been talking, but I just can't shut the hell up. 27 minutes, that's what I'm talking about. See, I can't, I don't know when to shut the hell up, you know? But anyway, um, I'm looking into doing that, so uh, that'll be another side series video if you'd like to see that. Um, so I'm looking to get around 170, you know? Um, I'm, I don't know if I can afford to do this anymore, but I used to be in martial arts. Uh, I have a black belt in Taekwondo, first degree black belt. And I'd like to get into martial arts again. There's only one martial art around here, and that's Taekwondo. You can't learn anything else. You can't learn Judo. You can't learn anything. You only can learn Taekwondo around here, which is fucking retarded. So that's one thing I'd like to do while I'm in Texas as well, is possibly learn a new martial art. Uh, you know, have some, I'm trying to set new goals for myself since I'm graduating college, you know, I don't really have any other goals besides trying to get a job, you know, and, and that's about it, and trying to lose a little weight. So, I also want to kind of transform myself and, and look a lot different when I come back here in the next two or three months, so that's another thing, so, yeah, I, I guess that's all I had to say, so. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I don't know when I'll see you again. Uh, I'm sure I'll have some video posted sometime. But anyway, to all you guys, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. And uh, be sure to stay tuned to what's coming up ahead. Thanks for watching.